Hello and welcome to my channel. Let us solve this problem which is related to communication system as well as related to digital communication. Basically it's related to the PCM pulse code modulation. So the question says that a com compact disc that is CD records audio signals digitally by means of a binary code. Assume an audio signal bandwidth of 15 kilohertz. Because we know that the bandwidth of the message signal is denoted by B. So I can write that B is equal to 15 kilohertz. So I am going to write over here that B is equal to 15 kilohertz. Which is the bandwidth of the message signal. Which in this case is an audio signal. Now it is asking what is the Nyquist rate B. If the Nyquist samples are quantized into 65536 levels, that is L is equal to 65536 and then binary recorded, what number of binary digits is required to encode a sample? C part is determine the number of binary digits per second, that is bits per second required to encode the audio signal. D part, for practical reasons discussed in the text, signals are sampled at the rate well above the Nyquist rate. Practical CD is used 45, uh, 44, 1000 samples per second. If L is equal to 65, 536 determine the number of pulses per second required to encode the signal. Okay, let us solve each one one by one. Okay, A part, what is the Nyquist rate? So we know that Nyquist rate is equal to 2 times the bandwidth of the signal. So we can write over here that Nyquist rate is equal to 2B that is 2 times the bandwidth of the message signal which in this case is the audio signal and that bandwidth is given as 15 kilohertz. So the Nyquist rate is equal to 30 kilohertz which means that we need to take at least 30,000 samples per second to meet the Nyquist criteria. So we need to take at least 30,000 we need to take at least 30,000 samples per second at least 30,000 samples per second per second to meet the Nyquist criteria. Find to meet Nyquist criteria. So we have solved the first part. Ok, let us move to the second part. If the Nyquist samples are quantized into 65536 levels and then binary recorded, what is what number of binary digits is required to encode a sample? So we know that here L is equal to 65536 which are the number of quantized levels. Now we know that number of bits required to encode each sample that is we are going to have 2 power n is equal to 65536 where this n is the number of bits required to encode each sample. Now we, what we are going to do is to uh, divide this 65536 uh, by 2 until and unless we get the 1. So this is 65536 we are going to divide it by 2 we are going to get 32768 and then again when we divide by 2 we are going to get 16384 and then again when we are going to divide it by 2 we get 8192 and then again when we divide by 2 we get 4096 and then again when we divide by 2 we get 2048 and then again when we divide by 2 we get 1024 fine and then again when we divide by 2 we get 512 and again when we divide by 2 let me divide the 512 by 2 we are going to get 256 then again divide by 2 we are going to get 128 then again divide by 2 we are going to get 64 then again divide by 2 we are going to get 32 then again divide by 2 we are going to get 16 then 8 then 4 
the n2 and finally we are going to get 1 now if we calculate this we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so this 6 5 5 3 6 is basically my 2 power 16 which means that n is equal to 16 that is 16 bits are required to encode each sample so to encode each sample we are going to need 16 bits we can also solve it by using second method that is we can say that n is equal to log 2 log to the base 2 into l where l is your 65536 okay this l is your 65536 if you solve this, you are going to, going to get n which is 16 bits. So to encode each sample, we need 16 bits. Fine. So we need 16 bits for encoding each sample. Let us move to the third part. Okay, C pass test that determine the number of binary digits per second, that is bits per second required to encode the audio signal. Now we know that the sampling rate was 30,000 samples per second and we know that we need, need 16 bits to require each sample so I can write that bit rate is equal to bit rate is equal to 16 bits per sample because 16 bits were required per sample as found out in the B section and the sampling frequency was 30,000 samples per second so we are going to multiply this 30,000 samples per second and this is going to give me uh, the bit rate that is bits per second sample and sample uh, sample and samples are going to cancel out this is sample per second okay so we are going to have bit rate which is equal to 4 8 0 0 0 0 bits per second Fine, and this bit rate can be denoted by C. So we have C is equal to 480,000 bits per second. So this is your parts number C, which is 480,000 bits per second. Now in fourth part, it says that for practical reasons discussed in the text, signals are sampled at the rate well above the Nyquist rate. Practical seed is used 45,100 samples per second. Now instead of the 30,000 samples per second, because the practical in practicality we use uh, signals are sampled well above the Nyquist rate, so we are using 40, we are taking 45,000, uh, 44,100 samples per second. The LSM we need to again determine the number of pulses per second, which is basically the bits per second. We again need to find the uh, bits per second. So to find the bits per second, again we have bits per second is equal to the sampling frequency which is 44,100 samples per second multiply by the number of bits required to encode each sample again the number of bits required to encode each sample is 16 because the levels are same the quantized levels are same so this will be multiplied by 16 bits per sample So now we are going to solve that and as a result we are going to have 705600 bits per second. So this is your answer.